Uh, one thing to keep in mind on anything relating to publishing, um, I broke in now um, 15 years ago. This means that while I do my best to keep up to date on all of this stuff, I am not going to be as good a resource to you as editors and agents who are right now acquiring or other authors who have recently broke in. They will be your best resource. Like I said, I do try to keep up to date, but all the, you know, the, the time where I had to really pay attention to it was 15 years ago and industries changed. So this is a place where I may not seem to be, I may not be as, as much an expert as I seem to be. Um, so I was told submit to agents first. Um, this is the standard method of operation. Um, about 20 years ago, so right before I broke in, agents started to become the de facto slush pile for a lot of the big publishers. Um, this coincided with agents actually increasing their rates. They used to take 10%. Um, of what uh, an author earned and they moved it up to 15% uh, and the general explanation was this was they were is that they were hiring more people to do the slush pile um, and as far as I know that is still the standard 15% um, and agents have the slush piles that said um, I took listened to that advice and I very calculatedly ignored it meaning I hunted agents and editors at the same time. Um, I figured that the more places I was submitting, the better. This was also something I could do with my eyes open because I was a fast writer even then. When I was trying to break in, I had a dozen novels that I had already written. And if um, the big danger of submitting to editors directly that agents will say why they don't want you to do it is if you submit it all around town to all the editors and then an agent picks it up they're going to be frustrated that the book has already been submitted to all of these editors um, as they think that the book has already been rejected um, my opinion on this which again is goes against the conventional wisdom so get multiple pieces of advice on this my instincts were that I was mostly getting form rejections anyway and if editors who had given me form rejections like got the book again later on, I didn't think it would be that big a deal. And plus I had so many books that I was submitting that if an agent picked me up, an agent is generally trying to pick up an author, not a book. And that if they found out one of my books had been submitted all around town, well, then I would have another book for them. Um, agents again, generally recommend against this. Um, but it worked out for me because the first person who bought one of my books, the first real um, acceptance I got was from an editor and not from an agent. Um, and it was uh, to Tor Books where I submitted Elantris to Moshe Fader. Uh, Tor generally has pretty liberal submission guides to um, guidelines for authors allowing unagent submissions that might have changed in the last uh, years. I don't know for sure. Uh, but I had met Moshe at a convention in Montreal. Uh, he seemed like he was a really great guy. He liked the same sort of stuff I did. So I sent him a book. When he called offering to buy it, I had also been submitting to agents and had gotten numerous bits of feedback from various different agents, which kind of let me um, audition agents because I was seeing what kind of feedback they were giving. And so I called Joshua Bilmes, who is still my agent, and said, I have an offer on a book that I didn't send to you. Uh, would you be willing to represent it? Because he had given me the best feedback of any of the agents I'd gotten. They had all rejected me, Joshua included, but he had rejected me with a please send me your next thing, which I had, which he had rejected me with a much better editorial letter uh, with a lot of things. Later on, he told me, uh, Brandon, I don't usually send an editorial letter that in depth unless I'm asking the author to rewrite, but I generally don't want to ask them explicitly to rewrite because that feels like it makes too much of a promise to them. So partially I was waiting to see if you, would re if you could revise and send back a revised manuscript, which I had not known. But either way, uh, Joshua had not seen this book and he was more than eager to pick me up having had me do half of the work already. In fact, he, um, he offered um, after he read the book and liked it to take only a 10% commission on that contract because he said, you already did part of my job. I feel like it would be unfair of me to charge you a full commission on this, which I've always remembered. Um, and uh, yeah, so 
Um, this might be a do as I say, not as I do, but I'm not sure. You're going to have to ask around, ask other people, um, and find out what works for you.